Oh, hi, listeners. I didn't see you there. Probably because we're on a podcast and there's no visual things oh going my God. on. Anyway, welcome to Four Weebs, that anime podcast. My name's Becca, and there's no need to worry, because I make it a point to carry a back scratcher with me everywhere for times just like this one. Is this narrated? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. or rehearsed or whatnot I, I don't know i really wanted to sound good you did you sound yeah. you did sound good i really didn't want to fuck up the intro this time like i always do <laughs> no no you did a good job i'm you sorry listeners i'm your host today shit's gonna get stupid my name's leah and i'm suspicious apparently <laughs> I don't my care. name's liam yamate <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> <sighs> um, my name is Veda, and uh, your tears and that look of pain on your face really do it for me. <laughs> I didn't know you were so cranky. Your quote's way better than mine. Aww. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say, Becca, before we start recording, you should yes. add some spooky music to the intro for oh. this one, because this is our Halloween episode, right? I was doing the math. It's fantastic. Well, it's, it's vampire themed. You know so. what? Yes. If it's not close enough, just pretend it is. I think it might have come out shortly after Halloween, but it's still Halloween ish. So spooky music it will be. If you don't hear spooky spooky music at the beginning, leave a comment or something. Tell me I fucked up because <laughs> I forgot yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, typical. I was I was trying to think of what my Halloween costume would be, so I said that I was just gonna wear some plain pants with a button-up white uh short sleeve shirt and then mm-hmm. at the party i'm going to i'm just gonna curl into a ball in the corner the whole time and i'll be shinji <laughs> <laughs> the one costume <laughs> the least only and most effort. so wasted on the people at that party it would <laughs> we'd appreciate it though i'd just be mm. laughing hysterically oh my god just so like the just one have to guy. go around and be like, I mustn't run away. You know? <laughs> no, the, <laughs> the one guy who would like know who Shinji is, he would just like stand towering over me and just go pathetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in the robot, Shinji. Would he call you a stupid idiot? Depends. No. If it was Aww. like a girl, it'd be like just Shinji. It would just be great. Shinji, you're a stupid idiot. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I don't even have a costume Great. picked out. I'm probably just going to be my typical crazy cat lady. Yep. Who <laughs> sits at home with her cats. Classic. Yeah, solid. Actually, Halloween is on D&D night, so I'm going to pretend to be something spooky for D&D. That's what I'm going to do. Whoa. Any- anybody else have any fancy plans for Halloween? No. Anyone? Just a Game of Thrones Halloween party that I still don't have a costume for. Go as one of the background characters. I know, I thought about that. Like, just yeah. go as a peasant like, and be like, yeah. you know what? <laughs> Done. Oh. I was in that one episode. Yeah. Yeah. Which one of your friends is dying at the Game of Thrones party? <laughs> That's the mystery of the night. <laughs> That's what we're going to find is out. Is your friend actually, have they planned a murder mystery or something? No, that would actually oh, really awesome. That would have be Have they great. planned to murder somebody? No. Not that. Not that I mean, like, actually. Mystery, Bruce Bolton, anyone? We're going to be playing... <laughs> The phrase Game of Thrones <laughs> board games and drinking beer and having candied figs and all that candied fun figs. medieval stuff. No okay. offense, but candied figs sound kind of gross. I don't know yeah. if that's actually yeah. what it is. I think it was what was it? I don't know. I had them once, but it was really good. Or is it some kind of pear? Turkish delight. I don't know. Mm. All of it sounds horrible. Anyway, back it was to really the good. anime. Not everyone's, candy. Everyone's here for anime rather than Game of Thrones references. Because nerds. Yeah. Hey, we'd watch a Game of Thrones anime, right? I would. I, would. I wonder if Game that'll ever yeah, happen. I doubt it, but I, I would watch it. I would watch it. Yes. Great. Oh, yes. So, I would uh, watch a lot of things in anime form. I'm not that true. Me yeah. too. Um. All right. So this evening we're talking about some spoopy anime particularly vampire type animes um do we want to talk about the good one or the bad one first i kind of want to do bad one because i want to hear about it god oh boy so much let's let's get into the bad one then 
All right, let's start this off with a bang. So our bad anime for this week was Diabolical Lovers. Mm -hmm. uh, let let them know how it's spelled. With a it's K. It's spelled with a K because it's super edgy. Edgy as fuck. It is it's so edgy. edgy. Oh my it tries for so hard. Me. See, I was thinking about last night, though. They should have <laughs> spelled it like L-I-C-K. Oh. Yeah, like lick. <laughs> Oh, that they weren't thinking that so would have worked, right? <laughs> you know what? Maybe it gets lost in translation, though. Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Honestly, no. the show's just not worth. It. God no. All right. Well, let me do the synopsis really quickly, and then and then you guys can tell us all about it. Nobody's screaming yet, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Liam's dead. Um, at the behest of her father, Yui goes to live in a secluded mansion, home to the six Sakamaki brothers. Uh, who happen to be a family of vampires. Though at first the, si the siblings are confused as to why the girl has arrived, they soon realize that, it's, that it, she is to be their new sacrificial bride. Quotes. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention uh, their other more carnal intentions for her. After meeting the brothers, Yui quickly becomes begins to question why her father would have sent her here and why she feels a strange new pain in her chest. With, with each brother's more sadistic than the last, Yui's life is, as a captive takes a harrowing turn in her new home. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm butchering this so bad. Um, I, as I her days good. turn into endless nights and each brother vows to make her his own, Yui falls deeper and deeper into madness and ecstasy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, gross. Solid. Nailed it. Tell us about Tell me about it. <laughs> okay, first, most important point, though, we need to get this figured out right away. Mm -hmm. Which... Yep. Which edgy vampire boy was the cutest, Veda? Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were all honestly not cute because they were so horrible. Aww. They, had, they were just all assholes and that immediately made them not attractive. Do you know what I mean? It reminded me of, like, a, a much shittier version of the boys on, uh, go to Project Ambitious. Yeah, kind of. They had like similar like color coded hair too. They definitely look color coded from the cover on oh, yeah. Mal. Um, yeah, that's so you can easily tell them apart when you swap through them. Well, that was what I was who reading. Who do I want to wear today? Yeah. Um, <sighs> I was reading. I think it's based off of a a, a visual novel. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. A visual novel. Oh, does yeah. that surprise you? What does that? It does entail? not surprise me. It's like <laughs> a like Steins Gate. The original game is a visual mm -hmm. novel. Yeah. yeah. It's I it's think... basically a game with reading, and then you pick decisions, uh, and then the the story goes uh, different okay. places. Based think, on those decisions. Yeah, I was that makes trying a lot of to sense. make it sound a little more inappropriate than what it actually is, but that's fine. I think we might oh, need no. to back up just just a, just one step. See? What are your initial reactions? <sighs> it's unfappable <laughs> garbage. I got it. It, it, it takes you know, it's about bad if you can't fap to it three <laughs> minutes to get to it being rapey, and I was like, oh, I'm yeah. so done. Yeah, I'm like so less so than done. three less than three minutes, and like. This little, like, 15-year-old girl has been, like, pushed down onto a couch by a vampire, and he's, like, oh licking her neck and yeah. breathing Gosh. heavy all over her, and she's like, oh, oh. That's so bad. Yeah. Yeah, the show like... just, like, doesn't, doesn't, not subtle at all. And no. I, the so... word, when I was, after I finished the first episode, my, mm -hmm. the words I had decided on it were, oh, what was it? It was like... <gasps> It was like a hot, spicy piece of garbage. <laughs> That's yes. basically Ew. It. <laughs> it's uh, it but is trash. Really... It's, it's so bad. Is it delicious? God. Is it delicious spicy trash or no. is it disgusting no, like spicy, spicy trash? It's All right, I'm gonna, bad. I'm gonna step back and let you guys talk for a bit. Light novel. It does have a five point one eight one on your anime list. <laughs> There's a good reason for that. Quality. Um. I'm an idiot, and I always read comments on videos and stuff, even now. Mm -hmm. I should know better, but I, I do anyway. <laughs> and um, so, like, the first, my first impression, because I was, like, waiting for the video to load, so I'm like, I'll go read the comments. I go look down, and it was basically a flame war about how the main character is, is so annoying and, and boring and terrible. And I was uh -huh. like, okay, this is, this is starting out good. And then you watch the show, and it's like... No, it's not just the main character who's awful. It's every character. Every single character 
is horrible. <laughs> They're all assholes. <gasps> and then the main character is stupid. So you're like, oh, good. We've got 15 assholes and one stupid girl in a room together. <laughs> Great. Well, it's not 15 assholes. It's no, like it's seven assholes. <laughs> but it feels like 15 because they're just so annoying. Yeah, oh I mean, <laughs> the problem, like... We d I don't really feel like talking about the plot of the show much because there, there wasn't there much. There is no plot. So the girl gets dropped off at this mansion. She's like, oh, my father sent me to live here. And she shows up and no one answers the door. And there's some hot vampire dude sleeping on a couch. Mm -hmm. And she's like, excuse me, sir. And she touches his hand and it's all cold and she can't hear his heart beating. And she's like, oh, no, I need to call 911. Yeah. But then Does he... She but then he sexually assaults her. Yeah, basically. And then like there's this really like scene there's a scene that's way too long where all the brothers get introduced. There's like three brothers that look kind of similar that are like triplets mm -hmm. and there's like the oldest brother who's always who always has like headphones in. Yeah. He never really listens. And a weird like choker thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It's like it looks like a choker but kind of like a medical device. Like I don't know. I was like it, it's either like a choker or I thought it was his MP3, but I'm like that's a really weird yeah, that's place what to I put it. Too. Is it like a neck support or like a neck brace? No. no, it's like a little piece of string with like a butterfly or something on it what? and then it has like this electronic thing on the side. Like it looks like a bluetooth thing. Yeah, it's like basically all the all the vampire <laughs> characters know. are vampire? designed visually to look like as thick and edgy as possible they're supposed to be oh, pretty so edge and like they, they, they've all got like that gradient hair look at my you know? string and my butterfly yeah. so hard yeah. so anyways I'm but so uh, the second tragic. oldest second oldest brother is like the senpai vampire he's like the responsible mm -hmm. one that like organizes everything the and dresses nice and has glasses yeah <laughs> uh and then there's I don't remember. There's like the youngest one. The one with mm -hmm. the teddy bear. Who has like a teddy bear with eye patch and it's just like really <clears throat> fucked up and ripped. Yeah. Just, I, yeah. Have, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. How closely do the brothers resemble the dwarves from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? <laughs> What? Because that's how it sounds like you're breaking them down. One hundred percent. The responsible one, the young one, the edgy the angry one. Angry one. Oh, they're all edgy. Okay. <laughs> that works. Yeah, they are all edgy. Yeah. Very good. This is actually just Snow White and the Seven Dwarves with vampires. What if it is? <laughs> it might be. Holy shit. It's not. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched any. <laughs> so anyways, back to the plot, which is yep. very important. So she yes. gets introduced to all of them, and she's like, there's something wrong. I'm going to go home. And they're like, you can't yeah. leave. And she's like, I'm going to call my dad. And then the guy <laughs> the takes one her phone like and smashes it. And she's like, oh, well, I guess I have, I guess I'm stuck here now. Oh, dang. But he like, he like grabs it and <laughs> he's just like standing now. there with the phone in his hand. He's just like, I'm going to do this. And he like crushes it in his hand. And what then a power she's, like, move. Yeah, I was like, what? Panties dropping everywhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knees right. weak. Yeah. I'm having a hard time keeping myself contained. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was the one with the fedora. Oh yeah, okay. The, he was one of the triplets, I think. Was he? But the one with the fedora, he like he nicknames her immediately oh, bitch. God. What? He, he refers bitch -chan. to bitch. What? He's like, but it's like you know what in the Japanese is like a bitch chan. Yeah. So like yeah, he never but... calls her by her real name. He just calls her bitch the whole time, which I Yo, found pretty. Does like, no one else think of Rick and Morty? <laughs> No. no, it was. It's like he's Scary like Terry. trying to be like actually derogatory with yeah. it. Yeah, oh, and it's just that? weird. It's like the it's show's really just doing it to be cringy. edgy, but the yeah, the show's just doing it to be edgy, and it just comes across as like immature. Really, and then, and the, then main, like, the first the... guy, the guy who like assaults her on the couch first. Yeah. Well, first yeah. of all, he has a bunch of comments about like, oh. I'm not gonna let anyone bite you first, cause I'm you're gonna everything that happens first. to you. I'm gonna be your first. Yeah. And he call he refers to her as pancake, cause mm -hmm. her her breasts are so small, her chest is as flat, <laughs> flat as a pancake. pancake. So that's that's what he refers to her as. And basically, this girl just gets like verbally and sexually abused by these six vampire brothers Basically. and she's just like oh this sucks i can't really leave her anything uh but yeah and yeah, yeah from like the whole so not very realistic no. like six minute video not even i didn't watch the whole thing whatever 
that I saw, like, recapping some of the most memorable parts, she's literally <laughs> useless. I don't even mean, like, you know, like, oh, she's being a typical dumb female that they try and portray. I mean, like, she literally just doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah like, she doesn't. So, well, cause, so here's my question. Why mm-hmm. doesn't she just leave? They, that's a good question. Her no, that's the thing. Lying. I feel like they, it's like they didn't even write her as a character from what I could tell. She just yeah. kind of says, no. And then but it's then just, like, like straight-faced and just takes They'll say it. something like that. She'll be like, oh, no, I don't want you to do this. Please stop. But then she won't, like, do anything. She'll just, like, but, lie there. But is dead. there actually something, like, stopping her from, like, when all the bullshit is over, like, just standing up and walking out the door and never coming back? They, they said that they would kill her if she tried to leave. Yeah, she mm. never really, like, were, like, honestly like, tries, though. No. There's that, there's, like, in the second or third episode where she goes to the phone booth. But... That was about as far as she got. Um, so yeah, that's their whole thing. Is they're like, oh, either you stay here and be our slave, or you die. All right. How much of the slavery involves being? No, I'm not even gonna go there. Sexual slavery. So, yeah, that's so. That's the thing that. Like, <laughs> but it's I like the... then they build like, oh, we're gonna bite you with our fangs. But it's like all yeah. You know, and like, when they, they do, do the bite her, they're just like the biting is like. Mostly just a lot of licking, and there's only a little bit yeah. of actual blood sucking. Yeah. How many of them have tiny little tongues for the licking? Because I always notice in animes, when a tongue is involved, it's either ridiculously long and pointy, like, <laughs> I was gonna say like pointy. ridiculously it's always pointy. pointy, always pointy, or it's like this tiny little, like, little pink thing that just, like, like pokes out just a little bit, like a cat that doesn't have its front teeth. <laughs> They've like, got the pointy tongues, I think. Oh, gross. <laughs> Yeah, the little tongues are kind of cute, but no, like they're not—they're not cute vampires. Oh, but they look no. like such cute boys. No, they're not. What do you mean they don't have the best intentions for her? Like I said at the beginning, <sighs> Becca, it's unfappable garbage. A, yeah, you know, it sounds like it's so bad that it's just like wore you guys down. You can't even be upset about it. I was really mad when I was watching. It. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> At least one thing that they did, one, the creators of the show, one thing they did understand about it being like super slow and boring mm, and yeah. just lacking a bunch of stuff. The episodes are only 15 minutes <laughs> long, so at least there's that. But, it's you know, me and Veda being fair, we watched four episodes and said three. Yep. Which is kind because as we discussed last week, you only had to watch three episodes. Oh, we the suffered fourth, through like, four of the this. Fourth yeah. was, the fourth it's was... Still, uh, it's still, like, slightly shorter than what we would have yeah. had to watch regularly, so... Well, mm-hmm. so what are the intros and outros like? Are they... Do they have... Oh, God. Boring. The oh, intro great. is, like, trying so hard to be fucking edgy as shit. Mm-hmm. It's, like, got this... What, what, what was the name of the song? I wrote it down because I was like, what the hell is this? I oh, it's called write... Mr. Sadistic Man is the name of the <laughs> intro song. <laughs> And nice. they say it at the end, huh. like, Mr. Sadistic Man. And that's how it ends. And I was like, oh my god. That, that sounds like a 80s, like, I don't know. It's not, it's one of those, like, you know, those typical vampire show intros? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Um, uh. The outro was just boring. I skipped it. Are there lots of bats involved? No. Uh, see, Zero that's bats. the thing, okay? This is part of what made me angry about this show. I mean, just part of it. There's the whole rape aspect, which is, like, the worst part. Super but then squeaky, there's, like, yeah. They have this other part where they're like, we're vampires, and she has a cross around her neck, and she's like, Ooh. aha, vampires, go away, I have a cross. And they both, they all look at her, and they're like, <laughs> that's so funny. That's so hilarious that you still believe in those pitiful human myths. Oh, we're, oh. we're cool vampires. We're not affected by garlic or crosses or sunlight. They went the or whole, like... holy water. All those myths are just bullshit that we made up to tr- trick you people, Ruth. Yeah. And then, uh. but then I'm like, why are you even vampires then? Because then later on they have them eating human food, too. And I'm yeah. like, okay, so they why do they even What's need to drink blood? Even the point, then? And they have them going to school at night. And I was like, why don't you just make so vampire school characters? all over again. Uh, it's, it's, <sighs> I was like, okay, if you're gonna make them vampires, don't remove all of the lore surrounding vampires. Do uh, something. Or if you're gonna do that, then make your own lore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or like, but they don't change anything. They're just like, oh, they drink blood for reasons. <laughs> it, it, it tastes because, good because they're vampires. See, this is the thing that always gets me really lit up about vampires. Is yeah, I'm kind of a traditionalist in that, like, 
I really like the myths and the solid, like... Because then they have, like, something they have to, like, work against. They are like, oh, yeah. no, I'm tortured. I can't be in the light of day. But these vampires can just fucking walk out in the sunlight. So why are they going to high school classes at midnight? And <laughs> oh, I love it when Vega yeah, gets rattled. Dumb. Let her go, the let other her part go. with the girl, it's like, oh, you're with us now, so you have to go to night class with the vampires. And she's yeah, like, seriously, oh, Seriously, what okay. is this, vampire night? I, it, I, it's <laughs> worse than vampire night. The girl's just like, night. okay... I'll do this. Clearly, it's the best thing for me. <laughs> she just she just goes along with everything. And then at one point, like, they'll they'll do stuff for her and she'll be like, oh, thank you. And blah, blah, blah. and she's like worried about her impression on mm-hmm. these fucking vampires who have enslaved her in their mansion. Like, bitch, just punch somebody. <laughs> punch someone in the face. Half the time I was like, okay. Because they would do something and she'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, don't be sorry. That guy's an asshole. You can just punch him. It's fine. Oh my god. We're so, we're so mad. Yeah, it's like someone, whoever wrote us just like has some really weird fetish fantasy. And this is, they're just writing their own masturbatory material. We'll see. Not that there's anything wrong with having a weird fetish, but. Well, see, like, reading the, the synopsis, it sounds a lot like a lot of weird fan fictions. It does. I, I don't have a problem with fan fiction, in my life, but, but, yeah. You know, this is like, if it's going to be a fanfic, like, let's at least make it fappable, guys. Come on. It always yeah, don't make it creepy. To, it always comes back to, somebody put money into this. And not just I don't a little know. bit of money. And, like, multiple people had to work on this and look at it and be like, yes, this is what how we should... Be this is the best choice we can make. Maybe they think they are catering to people, like certain people's kind of like fetishes and fantasies. And the, even though they're well, not necessarily correct society wise, doesn't mean that you know. You know what the creepy might thing not is have though? An um, I was reading the comments on the video, like the later videos, and like mm-hmm. half of the people were like, "OMG, so and so is so hot. I wish I was in her shoes," kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like. What do you think are the ages of the viewers that enjoy the show? Mm, Good probably question. younger. Yeah. I don't know. I really probably think younger. Know. Yeah, because they they just think that it's like a that's how it is. A it's dominating acceptable. male where yeah. it's hot yeah. and he's manly and whatever. But really, when you're older, you're like, well, that's abusive and yeah. um, that's not no. right. <laughs> so many red flags. Rape, rape, rape. Yeah. Attempted rape, rape, rape. rape. <laughs> Thanks for triggering me, Becca. Well, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, this whole anime <laughs> just triggered me. Uh, it didn't trigger me that hard. Well, I mean, the I vampire bit it... triggered me. I like, I like I said, I don't have a problem if someone, you know, has a fetish like this. It's just like annoying that this got made and you know, as a serious anime and mm-hmm. as anime reviewer, mm-hmm. I am obligated to tell my opinion through the perspective as an anime viewer, not as someone looking for some hot some steamy hot, vampire hot action. Vampire bods. Yeah. But you know, there are better places to go for hot, steamy vampire action. Mm. Yeah. I think part of me is just kind of mad because it's like, it's probably going to be aimed at like younger girls and yeah. stuff. For, like, impressionable like 13 year old 14 year old girls who are gonna look at it and be like this is a perfect relationship you know kind of thing and it's like oh. no this like is what not. 50 shades of gray would you yeah think? Or, like, twilight. or twilight yeah and yeah. it's like don't teach people that this is a good thing <laughs> or an acceptable just, thing yeah it's just uh, well it's frustrating i do have to apologize to both of you i did choose diabolical lovers because i knew it would be a bit of a harrowing experience mm-hmm. but well, you have bared through it with grace we do get better views when the ep- animes are very bad and i have yeah. to say i really like veda ranting <laughs> yeah it was a good rant great. veda nice work i yes. know um yes but like seriously though it's a rant worthy show it is oh, a okay. rant worthy show it's not the wor- it's not like there's definitely shows that have triggered me harder but like this one mm-hmm. it came close so here's the other yeah. questions are, well, actually, I have a couple different questions and none of them are related. The first one is, are the triplets incestuous? Because that seems like something that would happen. They well, haven't gone there I yet. Haven't, I haven't read into the rest of the plot, but I wouldn't be surprised. Neither would I. I'm just thinking of some other things I've seen. But and that's the thing. Se- Technically, they're not all related. Okay. Some of them are they're half-brothers. Bro- yeah. They're like, quote, brothers, speaking of... You know, I think they're all at least half-brothers. I say. Yeah. Um, I don't know. My next, some weird shit. 
my next question is what's the quality like animation wise and stuff because just looking vis- at it visually it looks like it kind of appeals to me but the, it like, looks pretty yeah, yeah honestly like the designs of the characters and stuff do look nice that's mm. tends that tends to be what draws people to it right because they're like oh look at those pretty anime boys right yeah but, uh, um, the animation quality is pretty low yeah it's not okay. great it's, it's better than some stuff, but this did come out in, like, what, 2013? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a few years old. So it's not, like, really, really bad. <laughs> well, this certainly has been a change from last week, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but... Why can't y'all be cool like me? <laughs> Sakamoto. But, uh, what was up with that one part where, like, the, the red-haired dude throws her into a pool. Oh, that was so random. Yeah, she, like, had an issue and passed out or something. Yeah. And then she woke up, and she was in, the, the, like, the at the swimming pool. And the yeah. brother, the, the rapiest of the brothers. Oh, the yep. <laughs> He just, like, picks her up and throws her in the pool for some reason. And he, like, doesn't even say anything. He just, like, tosses her in, and then he's like... Tell me I'm the best person ever. Well, how else are you going to assert dominance by besides by like pushing someone into a pool? Yeah, but then two seconds later she's like, ah, I can't swim and starts drowning. Yeah, yeah another reason why she's there. useful. <sighs> yeah. And then he has like a dramatic flashback to something in his childhood. Oh, they're trying to give all of the vampire boys really tragic backstories, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck about any of you. So none of this is going to make me sad. I kind of just want you all to burn in a fire. <laughs> yeah, so then he, like, jumps in to Sassy save her. Beta. But then he, like, drinks her blood at the same time. Oh, yeah! I and it gets super in. dramatic. And they're like, oh, look, sexy blood drinking scene underwater. It's as hotter when it's drowning. in the water. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> It was weird. It was really out of nowhere too. Like he just, it just sort of happens. Like there's no reason for them to be at the pool. It just, boom. But from what you're telling yep. me, does it really come out of nowhere? I guess not for this show. I mean, there yeah. is a scene where like she gets molested in a church. So, oh, oh that my part was god. Rough. Oh <laughs> part yeah, that, that was really in that bad. Little video he's that like I kissing this. her on the inside of the thigh, and yeah. and then he like bites oh. her too. And then he's like, the, the, and like that's the thing. All of the episodes end. In, like, the creepiest fucking way as possible. Like, I think the first one ends with her saying something like, Please, God, as um the one dude, like, looms over her. Yeah. And then, like, one of the other, like, that episode ends with her, like, in the church. And, then, like, the, I think the camera, like, pans up or something. And the one dude just, like, is creepily leering over her again and, like, being all rapey. And it's just, like, oh. that was really bad. <laughs> well. Pretty much. This sounds like a gem. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you heard it Better here, Weebs. Buried. Now you know not to watch it. Please, yeah. no one ever go and watch this show. Just, Get your just spooks don't. and faps elsewhere. There are better shows. Yeah. Not even one penis. <laughs> so I, I don't think we really need to do uh, final final words. But... Oh, was our, that was our final verdict. Yeah. All right. I'm not fucking watching this show again. You kidding? <laughs> not even for a drinking game. Not even for that. No. Wow. I'm not. Depends on this. what we're drinking. All the alcohol. If I get molested by a hot vampire after, maybe. <laughs> uh. Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just, just maybe. Just maybe. Solid. <sighs> All right. Well, once again, I apologize. Although I don't feel that sorry because I've you had did to watch good at a lot of the bad ones. So. so great. There you go. All right. So on the flip side of things, uh, Leah and I watched an anime known as Shiki, which is also a vampire anime because this is the vampire themed episode number two. Um, so 15 year old Megumi dreamed of a glamorous life in the big city. However, her unexpected death in the quiet village of Sotoba, Sotoba marks the beginning of what appears to be a ferocious epidemic that turns the hot summer into a season of blood and terror. A young doctor named Toshio begins to doubt the nature of the disease and comes to understand that to dis- discover the truth, he must abandon his humanity. Meanwhile, Natsuko, Natsuno, an antisocial youth from the city, is haunted by the sudden death of Megumi 
and must realize the pain of his friendship in the face of his own tragedy. Uh, Toshio, Toshio and Natsuno form an unlikely pair as they work together to save Sotoba. Sotoba. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Before it transforms into a ghost town of vampires. From Mal. And if you want to read it without the fucks, it's over there. <laughs> um, Leah, tell me how you feel about it. Um. Okay. <laughs> so shit. I, Solid I did like it. <laughs> I did like it. And not to skip to the end, but I was like coming into the episode being like, oh, I'm definitely going to watch some more. But it's kind of weird. It's like kind of underwhelming mm-hmm. at the same time. Like when you first start it. Because you're, like, not quite sure, like, how it's going to go. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect... So the main girl, Megumi, she's got this bright-ass pink hair. She's Aww. really bubbly and obnoxious. And she, like, dresses all fancy. And she just lives in this small little town. And she wants out, basically. And then she's dead at the end of, like, the first episode. So you're like, oh, mm-hmm. I did not Spoiler. see that coming. I imagine she'll be back as a haunting or something like that, or a vampire. Or as but, a vampire. Yeah, but, <laughs> um, I don't know, the tone of the show kind of took me off guard. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just not what I was expecting. Okay. And the animation kind of reminded yeah. me, the vampires honestly remind me of Gonkutsuo. And oh, I don't okay. know why. I, I think it's the eyes. Like, you know, when Gonkutsuo yeah, when actually, nothing. like... Mm-hmm kind of looks more demony. Like, I don't know, that's kind of what it reminded me of. It does have a, a different bit. style to it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't really know what my initial thoughts were. I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think you have to, like, watch more to see? I think so, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's, it's like it was underwhelming, but still good. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's the best way I can describe it. Fair what about enough. you, Becca? Nice. Um, I think the first three episodes are a taster. Yeah. It's the best way to describe it. Um, I was really expecting it to, like, there's a lot of time building up to where the story's going. I was really expecting it to start a little quicker with a lot of the action and the horror and the drama of there being vampires. Mm-hmm. But it looks like the show is actually going to be walking more through the discovery of them and then the fallout. And I yeah. kind of like that because it's a little bit slower, like, don't get me wrong, I would have liked for there to have been blood-sucking fiends in the very first episode, but I'm kind of okay with them letting it build up so that when you do finally see the bad guy, it's going to hit, like, you're going to have an investment into what you expect, right? Yeah, because they're kind of, like, building that intrigue yeah. in the first little while, which is yeah, which is good. And, I mean, they have some interesting, like, character relationships. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, you're well, quite so stereotyped, and you're kind of wondering how everyone's going to play in and who's going to live, and yeah, you know, well, it's it's definitely a bigger cast of characters than just like the two main, mm-hmm. um, and that's part of it too, where like it's different than what I expected. So like, I'm I'm a little bit mixed on it because there's some stuff that I wasn't expecting to go a certain way, but we should just talk about the characters to be in with. So you start off like you said, the very first episode almost solely focuses on Megumi and like everyone else is around her right and it's just her being angry that she's stuck in this little like tiny town where everybody's always gossiping about each other and she just hates it and she wants to go move to the big city and become a star and then hang out in clubs all night which I was like life goals solid (laughs) Um, and then she's dead at the end of it and nobody (laughs) knows why they find they well they find her out in the forest because she she goes missing for a couple days. They find her in a forest, and when they bring her back, she's deathly ill and like pale and tired, and she can't move. She won't eat, and everyone and the doctor's just like, I have no fucking clue. Yeah. Um, and then when she dies, the entire like everything starts to kind of happen more rapidly after that. But there's definitely some weird characters, like the whole so there's. Megumi and then the doctor and the doctor has his whole little like cast of people yeah. and then there's um anti-social what's his nuts who <laughs> I fucking hated because he's an asshole the blue haired mm-hmm. guy yeah. yeah um he's just a fucking dick his yeah. response to he is a dick yeah so 
Megumi had a crush on him before he pa- before she died. Yeah. And granted, like, poor choices, but she used to, like, stand outside his window to watch him. Right. So he always kept his window closed. And his response to her di- finding out she died is, well, now I guess I can keep my window open. Jeez. Which yeah, was, like, like, he was really shit. cold about it. And then, like... Yeah. One of Megumi's friends, like, is in her bedroom after she passes away and, like, found found this letter that Megumi was going to write to, like, wrote and to the guy she likes kind of thing. Oh, wow, yeah. So, um, when the friend sees the guy at the funeral, she's like, oh, like, you know, I want, like, I think you should have this. It's like a keepsake of Megumi's or whatever. Like, you know, I think she'd really want you to have it. And he's like, no, like, I didn't even know her. I'm leaving. Yeah. And she's like... The burial hasn't even started yet. And he's like, like I said, I didn't even know her. And then he, like, leaves. Christ. Yeah. 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 And, and that's like, your, douche. <laughs> well, and that's your one main character that you're supposed to, like, invest yourself mm-hmm. in. And he's just a complete asshole. I kind of get the feeling that you're you're they're going to end up trying to make you, like, warm up to him. I suspect so And he'll so probably as well. start, you know, realizing things. and yeah. Well, that and he's is... taken things for granted because he moved from the big city and didn't want to be there at all. Mm-hmm. Not that yeah. that's an excuse to act like that big of a dick, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's he, he's very hard to like, but he's pretty much the only character that's I don't know he just just a fucking dick. Mm-hmm. Where am yeah. I going with this? <laughs> Take it away. Talk for a bit, Leah. I'm thinking. Oh I just God. What I did. There's a um... hockey game on TV. Flashing colors. Um, How dare you watch Sprouts yeah. while talking about animus? How could you, Becca? Adam loves hockey. I have to like. I have to tolerate hockey for Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what to talk about. Like the first three episodes, like it's it's weird. It's like things happen, but also not yeah. that much has happened. Like basically, you're introduced. To Megumi in the first episode, which we pretty much described her premise. Mm-hmm. Doesn't want to live in a small town, was in love with that guy, dies, which we know is from a vampire. Um, we the vampires, know. No one yes, else knows. We know. Yeah. The vampires are this family who just moved into this huge castle that they built in the tiny little town. Um, which is a pretty big deal. People keep talking about it. They're like, there's mm-hmm. mixed opinions, but they keep mentioning, oh, by the way, that giant Ooh, European style daughter. castle. Their daughter is creepy. Oh, yes. She was the oh, first yeah. one that, like, actually kind of, like, I was like, oh. Like, yeah. so there's the quote-unquote parents, and then there's their daughter. And I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say they're all vampires. <laughs> um, and at, so, least, at least the mom and the daughter. Yeah. Because of the eyes. Yes. They have, like, pits for eyes. Yeah, which is uh. one thing that kind of bothers me. Like, I don't know, like, no one ever seems freaked out. Like, mm. so... There's this one woman in the second episode who gets sick, and it yes. seems like the same thing Megumi had, so the doctor's trying to figure it out. And he, the doctor, asks, like, the woman's husband, like, you know, has anything different happened in the last couple days? Like, what have you been up to? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And he's explaining how, like, he met the people who just moved into the big European castle-style house or whatever. And so right. they do, like, a flashback scene, and yeah, it's the husband and wife, and the wife is, like, you know, they're really blonde they're both like ethereal looking but she's yeah. got like literally these black black eyes, eyes. yeah and i'm have... just like yeah no one acknowledges it no one ever acts freaked out like i don't know if it's supposed to be like some kind of trance thing or like what but it's like they just accept these dark pit black eyes so i have hmm. a little bit of a theory about it um did you notice like the use of light in the episodes how the more like even in just the first three episodes the more it travels through, the more when they add light, it just completely washes things out. Kind of like they're almost making the view... Like, it almost felt like they're trying to make the viewer feel like they're walking into the sunlight. If That sounds kind of weird, but like... I didn't notice that. I mean, it could be a... You know, I wasn't that observant at the time. I was kind of sleepy. But I mean, I definitely noticed kind of like the light around yeah. the vampires and stuff, which is why, like... I said they kind of seem more like ethereal, that sort yeah. of thing. yeah. Um, so I wonder if, like, yeah. the, the blackness of the eyes, it's kind of like they're kind of um trying to move the viewers into, like, a darker tone through the use of light, and those black, black eyes are kind of like, this is the dark pit that you're headed into. That's Could be. I'm curious. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but yeah, the daughter, she's really creepy. Like, she shows up and, like, 
the, I think it's the third episode, to talk to this monk. He's just one of the characters you kind of get to know. Who's he's also he's like, very suspicious. He's also like the third ish main character. Like I yeah. thought, I thought at first it was going to be him and the doctor teaming up because the monk keeps showing up. Mm-hmm. Um, not extra like shithead guy who's just. But a the doctor, head. not the doctor. <laughs> Um, the monk almost seems like he wants to, like, interfere with the doctor. Does he? I don't know. I kind of got that I vibe. Know. I don't know. There's just something I can't quite put my finger on about the, um, the monk. If Veda's seen it, she would know, but, um. I do. Okay. Anyway, um, the little girl, when she shows up on the steps of the temple to, like, talk to the monk, what was it? Oh, he called her Miss, and she's like, don't yeah, call she's... me Miss, and she like gets all like evil-looking and shit, and I was mm-hmm. like, ooh. Well, she goes and just like... the voice actress is really good. She goes from being like, really sweet and nice to like, immediately like, don't call me Miss. Yeah. Yeah. I can't it remember if really I watched good. that part in Japanese or English, but I guess way, I should mention, good. <laughs> I watched my entire one dub, my the entire three episodes dubbed. I didn't watch any subtitled version. I watched I think That's that part crazy. with her must watched the first and the third in dub and the second in sub because I was too tired okay. and didn't want to read subtitles but felt obligated to <laughs> at least, watch at some least in Japanese. Put a bit of effort in? Yeah, no fair mm-hmm. enough. Um, especially since subs are usually better, but um, the dub actually, it's really not that bad. No, I thought it was alright. Um, it's done yeah. through Funimation mm-hmm. and like and everything. Reflex. Yeah, like everything. <laughs> but it's nice, it, but it wasn't like overkill Funimation like they sometimes oh, yeah. do, and I didn't like yeah. recognize everyone and their dog in it. I mean, I recognized a few That's voices, good. but like nothing yeah. like crazy. Can we talk about the dogs for a minute? This is a completely oh, yeah. different jump. Dogs. But <laughs> there's two different dogs that show up in the first three episodes. And personally, I just like they are drawn ridiculously cartoony. Like they <laughs> I don't look remember like that. they're from like an out entire, of place. So yeah, they're really out of place. Um, the the animation actually in general. What do you want to for the about? style? I don't. I'm not a big fan of. That's um, fair. It's no, a it's really a, a kind of um specific style. It's well, their guess. eyes. It's... I don't care. for. For. Maybe it's it was like the characters for and their hair. Oh my god, their hair yeah. is all out of this world. Like this is the most animeiest animeish hair that we've seen in a really long time. Yep. Like it's ridiculously over the top. Everybody's got like huge chunks of spiky hair yeah. that makes no sense. At least two different characters, their hair actually looks like kitty ears. It's yeah, the, the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing right? for me with like yeah. anime hair. Like I can like accept it when it's kind of you know. A little outrageous and whatever. Yeah. But it's still, in a way, kind of makes sense. Like, it could yeah. physically happen if you, you know, used product or whatever. Like, I think but some of the people's hair in this show, I'm like, there's just literally no way. Like, that just can't be. Like, it <laughs> um, reminds me of watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Is, is like, how bad yeah. it is. It's almost kind of worse with some of them. Like, it might not yeah. be as dramatic as Yu-Gi-Oh! But, like, logically, it makes even less sense. Well, like, to be <laughs> fair, it is an animated medium. They can this do is I know, much. but, like, this is very oh, fair. God. But I think I would have enjoyed it more if it wasn't if if the animation style wasn't so extreme. Um, mm-hmm. The eyes bugged me a little bit, but I was like, maybe that's just the, like it, they didn't bug me so much that I was like, ugh, these eyes. But the hair, every time I saw somebody with goofy hair, I was just like, for fuck's sake, this is distracting. Like, mm-hmm. like the main vampire, the, the the father vampire, his hair is like he has two pigtails almost. But they stick straight out of his head. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's yeah. ridiculous. It's too much. And they're long, like, whiskery type things. It just it was a distraction to a to what I was otherwise enjoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like and the, like the blue haired guy fair. who looks like he has ears just like yeah. kills me. Because it yeah. doesn't even look like hair. No. no. Like it just literally looks like ears. And I'm like, I don't I don't know, whatever. It's That's really nice. it's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, just... When I watched it, it just it took a while to get over the style a bit. It's like when you go mm-hmm. from regular anime to like watching something by Holic or some stuff like that. See, yeah. actually, that's what I want to say. The show kind of animation kind of reminds me of Clamp and yeah, and uh, Gonkutsuo, only not pretty. Okay, because those are both really pretty animes, but. That's kind of the best way I can describe it. <laughs> See, I think some of it, it's kind of pretty within its it own is. style. I, like, it's just certain characters. I'm like, mm, no. Yeah, can we tone it down just a little bit? Just a touch. But 
I don't know. I still think that like I'm I, I'm gonna watch a couple more episodes. Oh, me I'm too. Like I still need to see these goddamn vampires. Like let's do this. Um, part of the reason why I picked uh, Shiki as my as my one of my vampire animes is uh I had read somewhere that they stay very true to the original myth of the vampires, mm-hmm. and I do like that they have this whole like anybody who gets struck by the vampires just slowly becomes sicker and sicker, and it's kind of like um mina in dracula where she's just like oh yeah she's fine and then she just slowly kind of gets eaten away and then like then dracula takes her if i remember correctly it just it reminded me of that and i'm really curious how they're going to deal with them when we actually start to see how the vampires function Um, well and wasn't um i could be wrong isn't in like vampire lore or don't they actually that's what they do is come in and take over towns basically yeah, well, that's yep. kind of like the general idea of it, right? They come through and just basically sweep everything out. Mm-hmm. Um, and, y- and like, it, it's kind of an interesting idea because this little town that they're in, it's made very clear that, um, th- basically they say the town is surrounded by death because their big industry is they, um, they forest, they cut trees down from the forest to make um, grave markers and coffins. And mm. where the town is located, it's it's surrounded on three of the four sides by these deep, deep forests where they're taking all these trees from. Um, and, like, it's, it, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Like, it, there's stuff about it that I don't like, but then there's the, those aspects where it's like, it's it's very clear that they just Right? Have, That's what I meant at the beginning when yeah. I was like, I had a hard time doing an initial thought, because it's like I said, it's like underwhelming, but like really good at the same time. Yeah, and, and like, <laughs> I'm, I'm Kind of up, an anomaly. <laughs> well, and I'm up to be like slowly walked into this so that when shit hits the fan, it really hits mm-hmm. the fan. Like, it's gonna be... I'm excited to see how they do it. Hopefully um, they do it. <laughs> yeah, well, and hopefully it goes well, because I would hate for a lot of build-up and, ec- like, get, like, really excited and lots of expectations just to have it, like, fall flat. Like, Ray but, Zero. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't ta- have we talked about that on the podcast at all? Yeah. Okay. We have. Well, I don't, like, we- yeah. I've heard lots of people talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not, not as great as it could be. But I mean, it hasn't like uh, Shiki has an eight on my anime list, so it probably. I'm hoping that it turns out well. Like, mm-hmm. I would think it does. Maybe it's just gonna be a Steins Gate. Maybe that would be excellent. I would be okay with that. But. Um. When I, I mean, watched some... it, I really liked it, but yeah. I don't know if like that's me personally, and I kind of like slow build horror. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it might well, be a bit actually, slow. I was going to say, it's actually, like, when you stop and think about it, it's very, like, Japanese-style horror. Yeah, the slow. Because they're very and slow mystery. and psychological yeah. mm-hmm. and, and that sort of thing. And I, I really yes. like Japanese horror movies. Yeah. yeah. So. And I just, mm-hmm. I think that vampires kind of work better when it's a slow build. Like, if they only yeah. have so many scary aspects of, about them... And that's that they can suck your blood and kill you. Mm-hmm. There needs yeah. to be more to it to make them really scary because, like, there's sometimes there's worse things than death, like mm. slowly dying and not knowing why. Um, yeah, or mm-hmm. having people all around you dying and you don't know why. Like, I I, I just really like that aspect. So, uh, mm-hmm. yep, that's what I got to say about it. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Not really. I don't think so. Are you going to watch any more, Leah? Yeah, I, I think I am for sure. Nice. Um, it's just got an interesting tone, and I think it definitely deserves a couple more episodes to watch to see like, kind of how it unfolds. And mm-hmm. and it's kind of like, um, no one's safe. Like, it's just kind of interesting to see. And then, like, you know, like, are they going to bring Megumi back? I imagine they will. And then, like... They kind of almost allude to it because after she passes away, um, Shithead like starts opening his window all the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah. he sees like rustling in the bushes, and he talks about not being able to sleep very well. Yeah. So I'm like, it feels like it's kind of obvious at this point that she's probably still like stalking him to some extent. Yeah. Um. Yes, maybe he should stop being such a dick. He <laughs> should quit being such a dick. Like he's such. I, 
I almost can't get over how much of an asshole he is. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, gee, I don't have to worry about that problem anymore. But to say that about somebody dying is so harsh. Like, See, but the sad part is, is, like, I'm sure people like that exist. Yeah. It's not, like, one of those characters where you're like, ugh, okay, this is such a plot device, it's not even funny. It's yeah. like, no, I could actually see someone, like, just being that big of a dick. It's just so sad, though. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. That's He'll probably my well, it is a horror anime. This is true. Yep. Well... I feel like I feel like I don't have much more to say about it besides their hair. I don't really either. As far as it goes, listeners, I I definitely say give it a watch. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep keep watching for a little bit here, especially because it is Halloween and Mm -hmm. there aren't a lot of get your spook on. Yeah, gotta get Mm -hmm. your spook on. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well. With that all being said, I believe Veda is our red marble holder for this week. <clears throat> yes. Um, marbles first. We always do marbles first. Marbles. So the way this works is we all draw marbles. Um, the person who gets the red marble has to watch the bad anime. On the bright side of things, they get to choose the person to drag down with them. Um, and then they get to pick the animes for next week, which is a pretty sweet perk. Yeah. Who would like to I've go? totally been forgetting to describe that. I was about to say, like, that's the first time we've like done that <laughs> in a long time. Totally just thought yeah. of it just the other day. Long time listeners, old news, new time listeners. That's how it works. Um, Yay. Yeah. So I guess the big question is, who wants to go first? I want to go first. Last. Me. Me. All right. Me. Liam gets a white marble. Yay. Next. Ugh. Me. They ah. get a white marble. Wee. Leah, it's gonna be me to this week, please. I want to go last. <laughs> you want to go last? Yeah. I also get a white marble, which means Leah's a red marble. Cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I can tell you have something or... bad planned. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, Evil oh, that's so good. <laughs> Laugh. I actually oh, have nothing planned at this point, but I'll make it good. <laughs> and by good, I mean bad. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Who are you Wonderful. taking with you, Leah? You. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. We haven't talked in a while. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. <laughs> that's the only reason. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is going to be an interesting... Come on, guys. Yeah. We talk every week. Yeah. We're it's going to talk yeah, to one yeah, I know we what haven't you talked to each other. Sorry, Leah. Um, okay. Uh, do you guys want to hear the good or the bad anime first? Good. The bad one. What's the theme? Fine. Yeah, what's our I'll theme? The theme. <laughs> so, I didn't know what to pick for this week, and I, um, I kind of forgot I was thinking until, like, like, five minutes before we started recording. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. shit. So, um, we're going to do Shonen Eye today. Yes. yes! So, hooray for everybody. I'm stoked. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll do I, the good anime uh, first, I guess. I wanted to watch oh. something cool with spaceships or dragons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Liam. I gotta find it. A- yeah, I don't know if anyone noticed my sarcasm because I was saying it pretty serious, but I usually, <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know. Last time we watched Stone and I, I watched all those super lovers. So yeah, that's I'm true. Season so two's back coming out, Becca. That's sure. Why are we that's doing Shonen and I again? Worst. Why can't Worst we do Shonen and I again? I don't know, man. What's... I guess I was I'm waiting to give Becca another one but... to watch. Yeah. yeah, I'm really running out. This is what we're getting. You guys are just gonna love me so much. I doubt okay. that, but let's go. <laughs> So the good anime is called Sekaiichi Hatsukoi. And uh, in Sekaiichi Hatsukoi, uh, Onodera Ritsu is, re-owned, renowned, is a renowned literary editor. I can't read today. And he's so passionate about his career that he doesn't have much time for anything else. Despite his er- uh, earnestness, he has to deal with the jealousy of his less successful colleagues on a daily basis. It all becomes too much for him, so he quits and transfers to... M- m- <laughs> Murukawa Shoten. Uh-huh. I can't. Uh, uh, where he hopes to continue his career in a friendlier environment. Unfortunately, instead of being placed in the literature department, he ends up in the shoujo manga division. Oh yes. God. Nice. 
<laughs> As if things couldn't get any more complicated in his life, his new boss and editor-in-chief, Takano Masamune, is annoying, bossy, and works on incredibly tight deadlines. But that's not all. To Ritsu's surprise, he realizes that his new boss is actually his high school love. Oh, yay. I was just gonna ask, Ritsu's... is his new boss incredibly sexy? Yes, he is. I was yes, just gonna incredibly say that too. sexy. <laughs> He's incredibly sexy, sure. Um, nice. Ritsu's new workplace is a lot more complicated than he bargained for. Oh no. It's probably because Polarity of the triangle. Oh boy. Yeah. This has an 8.15 on my anime list. It sounds oh, like it's really good or some really shitty slice of life. Yep. So I guess we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, nice. <laughs> Alright. So for the <coughs> bad anime. I really wish I could the red marble this week. What can the next week? Thank you so week? much, Leah. Um, <sighs> we're gonna launch Marginal Prince. Uh, oh god, it can't I don't even know. know. It already Oji sounds Tachi. fucking awful. <laughs> it, do you want to know the score? Yes. It's a 6.06. Yes. Oh, six. Uh, 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 Mar- Marginal Prince is based off the hit love simulation game series for girls. Oh, oh, fuck. Yuto studies abroad in a tiny faraway <laughs> island in the Pacific Ocean named Alfonso. Where he enters the all dorm, all male Alfonso Gakuen, I guess. However, the school is really a place for the children of famous, wait, of the famous, and what? Oh, it's a place for children of famous people. And the school specializes in classes on empires and alchemy. What? Whoa. And one day, oh after studying enough at the school, the students <laughs> become known as marginal princes. I Learn about oh the stories God. of fate Fena. and trial. As each of their students be, like, studies to become kings. <laughs> this is on Crunchyroll, apparently. <laughs> the fifth picture on Google is a beach scene of them all topless, and actually they all have different colors, hair, <laughs> yeah, and like, do. oh my god. I couldn't give two shits less that it's about, like, that it's I, and that it's like, you know, guys, whatever. It's the fact yep. that these just end up so ridiculous, ridiculous. that yeah, it's too. just like... <laughs> God. <laughs> Can't be more ridiculous. I, I watched like a child seconds. in the shower. Wait, it, it just that? it looks so quality. I love how when I'm gonna read... let everyone know she's talking about Bocano Pico so that they don't think oh, no. she's. I'm referring that to that wrong. Oh, that's lovers. super lovers. Yeah. Or that's super, totally lovers. super lovers. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess there yeah. was. Okay, is it bad that I've seen enough to get confused now? Oh, God. That is pretty bad. You're oh, probably no. on more lists than I am. Oh. I love how when you read the description, Veda, it sounded like you hadn't even read what the anime was about until you read the synopsis. <laughs> no, I, I had. I had. I just, I was like really quickly like gleaning through it when I first read it. I read a description on a different site too, so I was like, oh, this is all different. <laughs> Alchemy, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alchemy, princes, Maybe they have dudes, a circle things. jerk in the showers. That would be a good like upgrade. Oh, God. But they have to like use their alchemy to do it. Oh my god, yeah, no touching. <laughs> the no touching makes it sexier. Oh god. That's <laughs> not how <laughs> alchemy works. <laughs> Equivalent exchange, obviously. <laughs> Give her they, they do, they're, on, they're on an island called Alfonso, so... Well, do you think well, hey, like what a- are all the chemicals in semen? What can you transmute that into? <laughs> Babies? <laughs> Good job, <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> it just got weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, tune in ne- next week for that gem of oh, an episode. <laughs> I will get revenge, Vader. I really hope there's oh, no. more yelling. So I'm watching the <laughs> game. I feel yeah, like you're I enacted, a good one. I feel like I enacted my revenge preemptively. That's how love is. go. Okay. All right, this guys. Be fun. Okay. All I'm right. gonna go cry now. Aww. Maybe uh, you can pick though. Yeah, that's true. Pick something to bounce back I'll from. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. But there's no telling Sorry. if I'll watch the good or the bad. That's always that's mm. the double edged sword. Hey, I always this podcast is. Yeah, that's true. I seem to end up yeah. watching the bad one a lot. Yeah, you do. I'm sorry, but this time <laughs> we, we haven't we haven't discussed for a while. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not mad. It's cool. Okay. We get to cry anyway. about marginal prince. <laughs> I'm so excited. And together. And <laughs> next I'm week, stoked. listeners. Yeah. Find yes. out nice. how mad we all are. Ooh. Yay. Don't forget to Have check out nice... No, no. Wait. Social media. Wait. 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 Why is everyone saying goodbye? We're not done yet. Oh. 
Check us out on Facebook, iTunes, uh, whatever the other one is. Podbean. 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 Yeah. We're at Four Weaves. Just Google us. We're probably the top hit because we're the only people with that name because we're cool like that. Don't auto trick it to Four Weeks, though. I did that one time. Yeah, that's. Oh. Yeah. I think we've discussed this before. Get a bunch of before. pregnancy pictures. We've discussed this a couple oh. times now. Yep. Yeah. And they're okay. all watching anime in utero because they're cool. Yeah. And with that, now we can say our goodbyes. Goodbye. Have a Goodbye. nice Goodbye. spooky Goodbye. Halloween, everybody. This. Happy Ooh. Halloween. This it is. This, 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 this. <laughs> this. this. That was so bad. Yeah, hey, I stopped week. my <laughs>